on the first day of January 1929, Georgia Tech was playing California in the Rose Bowl. During the first half, a California player named Roy Regals recovered a fumble on the 35-yard line and ran almost 65 yards to the end zone. Except he ran towards the wrong end zone. His own teammate had to tackle him to stop him crossing the wrong line. And Georgia Tech scored as a result of Regal's humiliating mistake. So what do you think the coach did? Surely he'd take him right out of the game and make an example of him. During the break at halftime when Regal's lamented that he had disgraced his school, Coach Nibs Price sent him back out onto the field to play the rest of the game rather than kicking him out of the game as pretty well everybody expected him to do. He showed faith in his player even after his player failed. And that faith was repaid when Roy Regals played a great second half. 1 John 2 and verse 1 says, My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. When you mess up, Jesus stands as your advocate. When you fail, Jesus is there for you. Think of the colossal failures in the Bible. Peter, David, Solomon, Manasseh, Paul, who was Saul. These guys were disasters. But how did God treat them? In every case, God showed faith in them. And after they failed, God sent them back out onto the field as part of his team. That day in 1929, a lot of people had to marvel at the coach's graciousness. We can afford to marvel at God's graciousness when he treats us so kindly. God is in the rehabilitation business, the recreation business. God believes in you because he sees you not simply as you are, but as you might be through his power. God does not give up on you when you blow it. Good news. Let's live today by every word.